all you can eat. So after the fresh rice, you want more rice, just go to the second table to get white rice, regular rice and a curry, all you can eat, as much as you want. And this is our room no. number 711 Oh, check this out, baby. Okay, Japanese custom, you gotta take your shoes off. You see this? Right there. We're not gonna fool around, we're going all out tonight. And then this is the Japanese room, bro. We're gonna go in onsen tonight. And the room has this aroma of uh, bamboo. Earthy bamboo and the wooden texture of the ceiling and the shoji effect of the door. Japanese used to call this what we call shoji door and a lot of people were killed through the shoji door. And later on, me and Cindy will have our little ceremonial tea. <laughs> yeah. And we will sit by our baby Sakura tree right here. And we will be celebrating our life. I love you guys and thank you for joining us on our journey in Shikoku. Shikoku! Where? <laughs> Shikoku. <laughs> Where is Shikoku? Is? Yeah, Charu something hotel. It's not in Japan. Look the what the bathroom looks like. <laughs> Who's that? What the hell? Put that there. Ouch. Broke my damn foot off. Okay. Uh, where's, where's the toilet? Let me look right at the here. Oh, they got a regular toilet, thank God. Oh my gosh, the other ones. Oh, we got a bidget. Look, you turn on the heater for my butt. <laughs> when I come back, so I get a warm and toasty chicken. Oh man, somebody. They live a little surprise in here. They're on a sofa, you lost it. Alright. Oh, what is it? Matcha, matcha tea? What is that? Is that matcha tea? What is this? Soup. Miso soup. Miso soup. Miso soup. Hi. Miso soup. Oh. Fish soup. Oh, fish soup. Oh. Hi. Fish soup. This is... Oishi. <laughs> Hi. I see ya. Oh, wow. Wow, strong. Good. <laughs> Fish, Fish soup. soup. Hi. <laughs> oh, that tastes good. That was good. Yeah. Hi. Awesome. What do you uh, he's taller than you. Yeah, taller than me. <laughs> wow. Where do you find Japanese people that are taller than me? Yeah, but those are not. Oh, those are geta. Here. No, that's yeah. modern day geta, but it's not. Well, you don't know, A lot of people don't buy the other geta. Yeah, that's like I said. Yeah, you can't walk on them. Yeah. 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 Mm. Those are cute. Uh, I run with those. Let's see how I run. Oh, this lady had this fish soup. Wow. The yuzu, the yuzu.
I know, I'm not. I'm just trying to get one. Go, 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 get the shot. So that, go get the shot. Get the shot. Get the shot. Oh, she's going to come closer. Okay, okay. Then I can get the shot, too. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Arigato. I got good at Okay guys, timestamp Sunday, April 8th. Cruising around in this bus with Mr. Watanabe is our pilot. We're heading to uh we're gonna take a small break and then I don't know what we're gonna do from there. But just rolling along man this beautiful countryside is absolutely amazing aloha kind of like home though topography the air is clean the onsen was radical sorry i couldn't share that with you guys that would be kind of like really crazy but anyway aloha all right here we are somewhere in uh Shikoku area, Japan. Oh, it's freaking cold. It's nice and cold. Uh, truck stand, the can drop bars on this one. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty modern. And then, oh, two truck stands. A Ducati, but, oh, pretty nice examples. Brembo brakes on this newer model. Very nice. The camera is not listening to me. Dropping into Shinjuku. Uh, pilot is uh, Mr. Watanabe at the wheel. Uh, very beautiful part. If you look at these mountains, you see these trees, they're not like that on accident. They're perfectly trimmed by people. They're called cedar trees, and the bark of the tree has to be kept very nice and later on it's harvested and sanded they use it in houses of distinguished people or people who want to have their house for a long time because termites don't like cedar wood but you'll see more of that as we travel along down this road into Shinjuku The place we're going to is a small place. There are four prefectures, which are like, for us in the United States, states. Each prefecture is its own state. And along with that, each prefecture has its own culture, its own okonomiyaki, its own everything. Even the language, slightly different because they use shortcuts in the language. But very beautiful countryside. Reminds me very much of back home. But the weather is, wow, look at that beautiful sakura. You see that? Sakura blossom. Hopefully we'll be able to see more of those guys, which is the reason why we're here. Shikoku and Shikoku has another reason to be proud they're gonna be the first prefecture in Japan to decommission nuclear power a dream Japan has had for many years but now is the start and yeah beautiful can you just imagine can you just imagine wow. check it out This is Japan. This is Japan, my friends. Can you imagine the warlord? 
hard things. You see that river down there? There's a little river down there. Those are cherished things, boy. Water. Water. This has got to grow rice, right? We need water for rice. So very important to have water. That's why a lot of the villages I noticed, look at that. They're all on the bottom there, look at that. Awesome, they're all gonna go get water, right? Everybody needs water. Well, this is a rare opportunity for me to get this kind of footage right here. This is the real Japan. You can even see some of the cedars. They look way up on the mountain top up there. You see them? Way up there. They're gonna harvest those dudes one day. But I was listening to this Japanese um, forester and he does the cedar. And he says that the cedar. It's like the human body. Nothing, nothing. Oh, oh. Keep talking. Keep oh, talking. Like the human body. The cedar, if it falls down, the human body falls down and gets damaged or breaks, the human body will recover, will heal. Whereas if the cedar should fall down and break, it will never heal. So that's why there's so much care that has to go into that cedar wood. It's just so many different facets of this Japanese culture that we cannot even begin to understand, you know. Americans, we just buy the stuff, put it together, put it in the house. When it gets old, pack it up and throw it away. For the Japanese, it's not that simple. Everything has a meaning. Everything has a use. You don't just pack it up and throw it away or burn it. Or It's much deeper than that in the culture. It's buried in our bones, in our souls. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, oh, we're in a tunnel. Oh, so something, I don't know if this is like something that they do for maintenance or it's like maintenance work. They're gonna clean something. Yeah, they're cleaning um, probably the gutters. Probably the gutters, because um, when it rains, if there's too much debris in there, it's gonna block the road, and then you're gonna have bigger problems. Yeah, so they're probably cleaning the gutters. Hello.